And we are back uh, with the Molesburg panel part two. Roger Hedgecock, host of the syndicated radio show, The Roger Hedgecock Show, and Newsmax contributor and host of The Right Side on Newsmax TV, Armstrong Williams. And uh, Roger, I want to pick up with you. Um, you know, Armstrong, uh, as he said, having a little difficulty in reconciling, um, especially this uh, Eric Gardner grand jury decision on Staten Island. Um, but but I, I, I don't see, you know, any comparison, and I don't know that he was making one to uh, Ferguson because in one, you know, cop had a right to defend himself, and I see no other alternative than to shoot the way he did. And in this case, it took three guys to bring this guy who didn't want to be arrested down to arrest him. So, I mean, you know, what, what's a cop to do? What is a cop to do? It's a really important question. And in my town, San Diego, we've got my hometown. We've, we've done this community policing thing for a number of decades. Our police department does reflect uh, the very uh, the variety of people who live in San Diego. Uh, it is a, a, a concerned police department, but I'll tell you what, with all the training they do, the toughest guys on that police department are the black guys. You don't mess with them. Uh, they are, you know, they're compassionate, they're community-oriented, and so they run up against some punk of whatever race, creed, or color that tries to give them trouble, and believe me, they're going to get enough more trouble than they ever uh, than they ever bargained for, those perps. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know, at some point in time, we have to recognize that if you come up against the cops, the duty you have as a citizen is to obey lawful orders and to take direction from these cops. That's that's the law. If you don't do it, I don't care what your race, creed, or color is. Uh, you're wrong. Uh, and unfortunately, and I agonize about these deaths, too. I mean, nobody should die. But unfortunately, you get uh, these situations in which you put, you know, the victim puts themselves in that position uh, to die. And by the way, isn't it a liberal problem here? Because the, the whole scenario started with the selling of illegal cigarettes. Well, the war on cigarettes just took a just took a casualty. All right, you want to, you want to finish up on this issue, Armstrong, before we move on to something else? Look, my point is not making comparisons with any grand jury decision. I think the point is, is that in the majority of the cases, almost ninety percent, police officers don't resort to deadly violence against their assailants. They find a way to bring the control situation under control without a loss of life. If 90% of them can get it right, can we get that number to 90, 98%? We're sure and certain there will be instances where people will die. But to me, that should be a last resort. All right, briefly, guys, uh, some pushback today from some conservatives. It appears John Boehner is going to uh, hold a, uh, a symbolic vote in the House against Obama's uh, amnesty executive order, but then he's going to fund uh, with Democratic help, apparently, you know, pass uh, the funding bill that would include the money for the executive order to be carried out at least for the rest of this year before the new Congress comes in. Uh, good move or bad move, Roger? I think Boehner's right on this. I know my, my conservative friends are up in arms, but between now and January, there's very little that's going to be done with Harry Reid's Senate. So to have a, a, a three-month uh, rein-in on the Department of Homeland Security budget with a guaranteed uh, debate in the first quarter of next year with the Republicans in charge of both houses of Congress gives us a much better chance to defund this amnesty than if we try to run up the barricade today. It's just pick its charts today, and I don't see any, any benefit to it at all. I think Boehner's right. Armstrong? Uh, no, I don't think he should fund it. I, I, don't, I don't trust the president and many of the Democrats in this instance. You fund it now, then they will try to say you funded them, and here we are in January and you're cutting them off. If this was your position, you should have taken a principal position last year. I think their position should be consistent. I think if Bailey knows are really outraged about this executive order, they should be willing to risk it all. Take a chance under no circumstances are we going to fund this amnesty bill. All right. Interesting, interesting point from both of you gentlemen. And I thank you very much for sticking around. Roger Hedgecock and Armstrong Williams, have a great day. We'll speak to you both soon. Folks, if you want to be on the show, and weigh in on the hot news topics of the day or ask me a hard-hitting question, be sure to go to Newsmax.com slash Skype and sign up. you got to sign up, and we'll be in touch with you. It's Newsmax.com slash Skype. It's like talk radio where they take phone calls, as I did for so many years. Well, we've been taking from time to time Skype calls. But we have to reach out. You have to reach out to us, and then we'll reach out back to you. So it's Newsmax.com slash Skype. Register now. Give me five is next.